Check out this dick. <laughs> When thinking about putting a deck on your property, one of the first things to think about is if a deck is the right thing for you. How do you do that? How do you think about whether you're into decks? I think what I noticed is it's real easy to think about the house and where the rooms go and the layout of all that. What you've got to do is then stand inside the house or stand outside the house and think about how is the outside of the house going to interact with the inside and the land. So you know where your doorways and your windows are and then think about how are you going to use the space? What are the views out here you want to capture? Where's the prevailing wind coming from? What do you want to shelter? Basically, you need to have a think about how are you going to use your deck? On a sloping site, usually it's more cost effective to do a deck rather than building the land up with retaining walls and stuff. On a flat site, the most cost effective solution is to pour a patio when you do your concrete driveway and pathways. So you've got to think about your specific site, what are the parameters that your site has and what's the budget you're working with and what's the overall look and feel of the site you're trying to achieve. So when I was doing the section nobody wanted, the houses were level but the site was going like that. So it made sense for me to have um, a nice big deck hanging off the front of my house. I went for a three metre wide deck uh, and, and we really use it a lot. Then think about the size of your deck. Obviously bigger is not always better and it's all about how you use it. In saying that, no one really likes a tiny deck and you might as well maximize the space that you've got to put your deck in. <laughs> By that I mean like rather than just doing one deck off the end there, we've wrapped it around the side of the house and all the way down there and so you can pop out at the end of the garage and walk along and you can get to the other areas of your outdoor living. But we've done this at a height where that it still works with the land. We don't have to put a full barrier or a balustrade on here. So those are all things to think about as soon as your deck is a meter off the ground you're going to have to have a balustrade on it and as soon as it's 1.5 meters out of the ground it's going to need consent you need to think about making sure that you're following the rules in terms of sizes of timber spans framing you can learn all that in NZ3604 download the tables online or just talk to a builder like me and get us to do it for you really drill down into the details of your deck. How is it going to look and feel? For example, this deck here and a couple of other decks we've built have got hidden fixing. So we're using a product called the Camo Tool with the hidden fixing and the key deck. Check out the review of that in this video here. Just slots over it like that. So we've got our deck, we've got our door and we've got our internal floor and all three of them are flush. So you can just walk straight in and out in here they've got a polished concrete floor and that will have a little aluminium flashing that goes over that and closes the gap between the door and the polished concrete. We have also thought about little details like how we join the corner over there. So some popular products here in New Zealand is like pine or quila, two mainstream ones. And then you could go right down the rabbit hole and talk about whether the groove side goes down or up and you could read a thousand articles on that. Or you could just put the groove side down and get on with it. What else do you want to know about decks, Sam? Should we look at Jeff's deck? It's kind of in the making, but it's a good example of how to think about a deck. If you haven't already, go ahead, click subscribe, let's go. So Jeff's doing the deck himself here, and we've done a little bit of work together on kind of like piles and bearers, and he's getting onto the joist himself. Jeff's one's a little bit interesting, he wants the boards to run this way with the house whereas we would normally run them this way. He's got a plan and a vision in his mind and I think once it's all finished and you've got the fire pit and the spa pool area and the stairs all working the way he wants, it'll be awesome. So down here is your spa pool area, you've got a massive platform for a spa and a sauna and then a pathway up to some stairs here, eh? We're doing a video on tips on decks, Jeff. Do you have any tips while you were building it? Did you? Uh, get a nail gun. Get a nail gun. <laughs> <laughs> I have offered Jeff to borrow my nail gun for his deck. But now that I'm most of the way through, I might as well just crack on and get the last bit done. Mm, then you can say you did it. It was a true hand job. You wanted to go like house, deck, grass, and all one level way. 100%. Jeff's going for Macra Carpa, mm. and it's currently being cut and milled and delivered soon, eh? 
hopefully delivered soon. Yeah. yeah. Man, it's going to be epic down there. Such a nice spot. <laughs> Jeff's dig down in the bushes. It's the innuendo channel now.